from the hemlock tree. The eastern hemlock is a tree for all seasons. Its needles are a source of a pleasant and warming tea that can be brewed any time of year, even when it's chilly and snowy outside. But wait, did I just suggest making a tea from hemlock? The same poison hemlock that Socrates was forced to drink? Of course not, because the edible hemlock I seek, Suga canadensis, is a medium-sized evergreen tree that prefers shady woods. Poison hemlock, Conium maculatum, is a plant with white flowers that grows in fields. Often one name is used for completely unrelated species, which can cause confusion and misidentification. Plus, common names vary from region to region. That's why knowing a plant's scientific name is important. It's international and standardized. The graceful hemlock is a slow-growing tree that prefers well-drained, moist soil. This native conifer has slender, flexible branches. Its flat needles are dark green on top, marked with two white lines underneath. Its small cones are pale green when young. As they mature, they become light brown and remain on the tree throughout the winter. The bark is rich in tannins. Unfortunately, this tree is under siege by the hemlock woolly adelgid, an invasive insect from Asia. It sucks sap from the base of the needles and from the twigs, which causes the tree to slowly starve to death. Telltale signs of infestation are white woolly clumps around the needles. So many trees in my neighborhood are infected with this pest. Healthy ones are harder and harder to find. No one wants to see these majestic trees disappear because of these tiny predators. Let's follow the example of the Lumpkin Coalition from Dahlonega, Georgia. Every November, they sponsor a hemlock fest to increase awareness of the tree's plight. This is a three-day, all-ages musical celebration that raises money to support research on how to prevent the spread of the adelgid. Scientists feel the best hope for long-term control is to use beetles that feed on it. The fest is a great way to combine a good time with a good cause. In early spring, needle tips begin to grow. Unlike the more brittle, darker, older needles, these are soft and bright green. They make a pleasant, lemony-tasting nibble on a woodland walk. Most children seem to like them. Hemlock tree tea is easy to brew. It may help fight colds and flu because it's rich in vitamin C. If possible, use newer needles, although tea can be made from older ones. For a single serving, take about eight small branchlets and gently rub them between your hands to release their flavor. Pour one cup boiling water over them. Cover and steep for at least 20 minutes, then strain out the needles. You can drink it hot or cold. In early March, I brew my tea in wild water, maple sap that I collect from a tree in my backyard. As you can see, my setup is pretty simple, but it works. I use a water jug to capture the liquid. Then I transfer it to a pan because I don't want it to sit too long in plastic. Even though the sap is 98% water and 2% sugar, it adds a subtle sweetness to my tea. If you don't have maple sap water available, sweeten the tea to taste. For variety, combine this tea with other tree teas, such as white pine and black birch, or with a dash of spices like cinnamon, cloves, and or dried orange peel. Don't let its lack of color discourage you from trying it. The flavor is refreshing. Make a little drink from the hemlock tree.